Hello Beyblade world, welcome back to another unboxing video. My name is Rome and what we have here right now is the new B204 all-in-one battle set. It features a gold chain Kerbeus and a white divine Belial. We also have two light launchers and of course a DB stadium. So nothing too new and exciting, it's mostly just recolored base. Super cool colors but nothing too exciting. Looking at the back of the box, it shows the parts that come with both bays. For Divine Bilio, we're getting the Bilio 1 core, which is kind of underwhelming since there's already a Bilio 3. I wish the Karatomi would have given us at least a Bilio 2, but it is what it is. Then we have the Divine Blade, the 6 Armor, the Nexus Forge Disc, and the Adventure Driver. Up next is Gold Chain Kerbeus. I gotta say, it might just be a recolor, but it's a pretty good recolor. Anyways, for its parts, we're getting the Kerbeus Core, the Chain Blade, and the 3 Armor, which is kind of interesting because 3 is commonly used with 3 wing blades such as Divine, and 6 is actually more suited for stamina builds, so I guess if I was to customize a little bit, I would switch 3 and 6 with each other. Moving on, we have the Karma Disc and a brand new part, Moment Dash. So of course, we'll talk about these parts more later after we do the actual unboxing. So over here are the stats. For Chain Kerbeus, defense and weight are off the charts with stamina not too far behind. And of course, since Chain is a defense type, mobility, burst, and attack power aren't too high. Divine Belial's stats are a little bit more well-rounded compared to Kerbeus, and its main weaknesses would be its low defense and stamina. On the bottom left side, we can see all the recommended gears you can use to improve Divine Belial's performance with the latest ones coming from the Ultimate Fusion DX set with Hyperion and Helios. And of course, we have the VS gear, which will come with a B205 Burst Spriggan set next month. All the way here to the right talks about the Chain Blades gimmick in low mode and high mode. And down here at the bottom is the sticker guide. There's a lot more to go over, so let's go ahead with the unboxing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks guys. First, let's go over the DB Stadium. For those who don't know, this stadium is bigger than the standard one and features a deeper central area. Because of this, doing rush attacks or flower patterns is a bit harder. You can still do it, but it's kind of harder to maintain in my opinion. Some people say that it nerfed attack types big time and made them impractical for use, while some people said that it actually balanced things out and leveled the playing field a little bit better for stamina and defense types. We want to know what you think about it. DB Stadium, balanced or not? Nah? Let us know in the comment section down below. We still have the Tornado Ridge and another layer beyond it. If you like playing without the stadium walls, I guess the third layer would come into play and could also act as a Tornado Ridge. But with the stadium walls on, we only have two pockets for ring out finishes. This DB Stadium is all transparent with white clips, which I guess is ideal if you wanted to blend in with your surroundings. Or maybe if you want to be a Baytuber, which I hope more of you would so you can share your experiences with us as well, you could probably print out a big logo of your channel and put it underneath this stadium, which I guess could work as well. So we're also getting two right spin light launchers. They're a lot smoother and better compared to Hasbro launchers if you have those, but they're pretty basic compared to the newer Takara Tomi ones. You can also attach these things to grips, which can be purchased separately. Now let's go ahead and talk about the two Beyblades, starting off with Divine Bilio. So Divine Bilio is a right spin attack type bay, and parts wise, it's kind of basic. Like I mentioned earlier, the Bilio 1 core is nothing too special. It has 4 locks, which is good for attack combos. The Divine Blade in its base form is a little light to dish out super heavy attacks. As you can see here, it's pretty hollow underneath. What's good about getting it though, if you're just starting out, is that DB and BU sort of revolves around getting upgrade parts for Bilio Bays. So having one right off the bat is good if you're gonna continue collecting. The 6 armor is good for increasing stamina. The Nexus Forge disc can be used to attach upgrade parts such as the D gear and the S gear. And then the Adventure Driver is pretty aggressive since it's an attack driver, but its behavior completely changes once you attach a gear on it. Next, we have Chain Kerbeus, which is a right spin defense type bay. 
Now, out of the two bays included in this set, I would say this is the better one. The Kerbay score has one of the highest burst resistance and stamina potential in the game, and instead of locks, it has a rubber slope. This would make it perfect for use if you have metal drivers, because as good as some metal drivers are, the tabs can cause some damage to a core's lock. But since Carbeus has a rubber slope, it doesn't have any negative effects on it. And then we have the Chainblade, whose gimmick is only activated when used with a Carbeus core in low mode. As you can see here, the Chainblade has movable chains that retract when hit. Theoretically, this is used to absorb and parry attacks from opponents. Now if you're in high mode or is using another DB core, these chains are fixed in an outward position. Then we're getting the 3 armor, which, like I mentioned earlier, is good for 3 wing blades, which are mostly attack types. Next is the Karma Disc, which is also geared more towards attacking. It has an aerodynamic effect depending on the base rotation. Since Chain Kerbeus is a right spin bay, these blades would cut through the air and let it flow up through these slopes, which will cause what is known as downforce. Theoretically, this will press Chain Kerbeus downward and make it behave like it's heavier than it actually is, helping it stick to the stadium. In practice though, the effects are really not that noticeable. And lastly, we have Moment Dash. Since this is a dash version of Moment, it features a stronger spring, meaning it has more burst resistance. Moment has a round inner tip surrounded by a free rotating dish which moves and even tilts depending on the angle of the stadium, theoretically increasing its knockout resistance. Moment has been known to be able to go toe to toe against even the most competitive drivers so having a dash version of it on a defense type might be game changing. The total weight of Divine Bilial is 68.51 grams compared to Chain Kerbeus which is 72.66 grams. Okay, test battles. So before we begin, the stadium is looking a bit bare. If you've seen any of our older videos, you know I like my stadiums lit. So I am going to use this and this to make something like this. Now we can play. First up, we have Divine Belial versus Chain Kerbeus. And we're only gonna be using the light launchers for this match. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Oh, big hit and a burst finish for Chain Kerbeus. Wow, wow. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Yeah. Divine Bilial is no match for Chain Kerbeus. Okay, let's try battling these two with full custom launchers instead. Ready? Three, two, one, rip. Oh yeah, big difference. Big difference when you're using... Oh! Big difference, but... Outcome is still the same. Chain Kerbeus wins. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, chain for the win. And last round for these two. Oh, that was so close. Big hit from Divine Bilial. Looking wobbly. Stamina almost gone. And yeah, stamina finish. Chain for base for the win. And that is it for the B204 all-in-one starter set. Honestly, it's something that you could probably just pass up on if you already have a DB Stadium and other bays. This combo of Divine Bilial is kind of... Eh. I mean, Bilial one, come on. Even with Chain Kerbeus, this thing has become a whole lot more accessible over the past couple of months. And Moment Dash, as amazing as it is, I don't think it justifies spending this much just for a driver. If you're looking to get a starter set, I think it's better to get the B190 all-in-one set. The one that comes with War Bahamut with the Metal Drift and the Gold Dynamite Bilio. Bahamut is still pretty hard to obtain and Roar plus Metal Drift? Total no-brainer. Because of that, I would give this set a 3 out of 5 stars. 
As always, thank you guys for watching. If you're wondering how good the new H gear is on Divine Bilio, you might want to watch this video over here. See you guys again next time. Bye.